So Minecraft released the brand new update that includes, well, this, and this. Oh, and also, rocks. So I thought why not make some origins to go along with the update. There's some pretty cool origins in this data pack. I hope you will enjoy them. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first origin is the Lusharian which is a small humanoid creature that lives in the Lush Caves. As a Lusharian, your primary ability shoots a poison dart that poisons and nauseates your targets. Your secondary ability uses a glow berry as a flashbang, blinding anything in the vicinity and giving you invisibility for 5 seconds. Next up we have climbing. Lusharians are experienced climbers and can do so up any surface. You are also able to craft glow berries using sweet berries and glow ink sacks. All berry types replenish more of your hunger. You spawn in an underground mineshaft. Your eyesight is adapted to the underground but not the surface. You are blinded above ground. You are smaller in size and have less health. Lusharians are unfamiliar with the effects of fire. Fire-related sources do more damage. After living underground so long, Lusharians have developed their own language. This makes it harder to trade with villagers. Villager prices are increased. And that's all for the Lusharian origin. Next up we have the Shine origin. Shines are mystical creatures made entirely from crystal and can use crystals to unlock powerful abilities. As a shine, your primary ability is a crystal beam that damages all living entities. Pressing your secondary key will allow you to grow a crystal on your head. Pressing your secondary key again will harvest the crystal from your head. Once your crystal is fully grown, you harness its energy. This gives you strength, speed and resistance as well as a glowing effect. As long as you have any form of crystal on your head, it lights up the area giving night vision to you and anybody nearby. Anything that attacks you takes damage from your sharp crystal body. Harnessing energy from crystals means you don't have to get energy from food as often. You have a crystal appearance. You spawn in an underground mineshaft. Your crystal body cracks when taking damage. This means all damage sources deal more damage. Your crystal needs room to grow on your head. You cannot wear helmets. When taking damage, there is a small chance your crystal will break. And that's all for the shine origin. For the third origin we have the redstone golem. Your primary ability shoots a powerful redstone beam. For your secondary ability, you can access a mineral deposit in which you can store items. All items except redstone drop on death. You gain night vision in dark areas. Your body is made from solid rock. This gives you more health and prevents fall damage. Your arms can reach further and do more damage. They also allow you to break blocks at a much greater speed. 
Because you are so heavy, you cannot swim. Instead you can walk on the bottom of water. You also do not require air as you do not have lungs. You spawn in an underground mineshaft. You can only eat redstone. Alternatively, shifting on a redstone block will fill your hunger. You exhaust much faster. You are unable to use shields. Your body melts when heated. All fire types do more damage. And that's all for the redstone golem. Now we move on to the final origin. If you have made it this far into the video, type caves in the comments. The next origin is the stealthy slation origin. Using your primary, you turn into dust and dash forward, damaging anything in your path. When in dark areas, your slate matter will begin to increase. This can be used to activate your secondary ability. Your secondary ability turns you into your dust form. In this form you are undetected by mobs and gain extra speed. You are made out of tough slate, giving you natural armor. In dark areas you gain night vision. You spawn in an underground mineshaft. You can only eat meat. Water dissolves your body. You take damage when touching it. And that's all for the Cave Dweller Origins. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. Thank you all so much again for the recent support and for watching my videos. I really do appreciate you all. Also I have made a Twitch account and plan on doing future streams, so if you want to see that make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye.